Hi dear students and welcome to the NIO's Home Science Practical number 12 and our today's practical is how to do plane waving. The objectives in this practical are to do a plane waving using a fabric strip, using papers and also I will be uploading a video in which we will be doing waving using the help of yarns, colorful yarns. The colorful yarn practical is not included in your book so you can just use it as a reference of how waving can be done in different types of methods using different types of materials. So now let's see what are the materials are required for preparing this practical of paper and fabric waving and how do we carry forward. So the materials required for the practical are some leftover fabric which I have taken from the tailor or you can also buy it from the shop. They sell it at a very cheap price because these are the from the big lot they have, have the leftover pieces. Uh, they are of different sizes so what I did is that I had my 30 cm long ruler, scissor, a pen or a pencil to mark your uh, dimensions. So what I did is that I had taken my piece of cloth of a different color and then measured 30 cm on the ruler from the point and marked it using my pen or pencil that's how I made a square because as you know square is having all four sides equal so all the four sides were 30 cm gave it a cut and finally had my square shaped fabric with me the square shaped fabric is as you can see it's over here as our student is busy waving it this is the square shaped fabric later as, measure, as we had measured it 30 cm so I left 2 2 cm and drew a straight line each line each column that means is for 2 cm that turned out to be 15 for me okay and then gave it a cut using the help of my scissors and they become like this but didn't give them a complete cut they were attached from the top from the top I left 2 cm and then gave a cut as you can see here one another example is when we had used our purple fabric or violet fabric you see it has not been cut completely we have left the upper part leaving two centimeter gap and each column making a line of two centimeters and then gave it a cut now we line it on the table and choose our corresponding color which will help us to do the waving but always make sure the darker color should be used as your background and the strip should be of a lighter color. As you can see another one of my student doing here, the darker color is brown and the lighter color is a pink. Here the darker color is orange as compared to green. Green has a lighter shade than orange. So green has been used for strips. Similarly, I had cut my second fabric out of which I want to make a strip such as for example red same 30 cm square but this time measured it again 2 cm from top to bottom and then gave a complete cut and finally had my strips ready so each strip is actually for 2 cm each strip is 2 cm which will be used for waving every uh, column available in your design as you can see one method here how do can we do the waving Or let me use a different color to show you as this is already halfway complete so I don't want to disturb it and the student is busy. You can see here, just line it over straightly making sure that all the parts are thorough here. These pen lines which are on top doesn't make a difference, it will give a beautiful effect also when you are doing the waving. Line it clearly and straight as if it was not cut at all this is the way so there are cuts available and that is how it was a 30 centimeter square now for my purple I am using my red strips as they as red is lighter than this violet or purple background color so what I will do I'm take, I have taken my strip In a plain waving, what happens is that it is not like twirl or satin wave. A twirl wave is what when you leave two blocks and then go over, under two blocks, over two blocks. A satin wave is when you go under four blocks, 
over four blocks, under four blocks, over four blocks. But a plane wave is when you go under one block, one block. So it is one by one. As you can see, the students, how they have been doing. See this, how we can do the plane wave. Over, or let us start with under, over, under. Now, this is a fabric, which is a little bit difficult as compared to paper. What you can do is that whenever you want to give it an under effect, pull your one strip up. Or leave it like this, one up, one down, one up, one down, one up, one down, and so on. You can do it. It will be much easier for you to push in and it is time consuming at the same time. So, what you can do is, Push it towards the up like that. Try your best to not leave any spaces between. And then down. 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 This one. And the final one. Sometimes you need to just make it straighten a little bit more before you start waving your second strip. As you can see this area, it has been pulled a bit from up. So what I'll do is straighten it and then hold it from up, push it down and then back into its line. This is my plain waving with a single strip. Let us do a second, if I, you can also use different type of color that strip. Let me use green this time. As an example. So, same, similarly, same. But now what happened? Your first yarn has gone inside. So the second one will be on top. So if the first one is on top, second one will go in. So the in, I'm going to do this. And then push in your second strip. Now pull it down. Make sure again no gaps or spaces given there. This is using your second color. Similarly, let me show you how I can do it using a pink color. So dear students, you can see here, I have added my pink color strips, okay? And that is how one under, one over, one under, one over, that is how it will take place in this one, okay? As you have finally completed the full thing, as you can see here, how the student, she has done completely, okay? The design and the color looks beautifully like that. You will just hold it straight and then put it over a white fabric or you can choose a different colored fabric which is like having a good contrast over your uh, waving fabric and then fold it one towards the end like this that's one and the side on the first part you get a square here stitch it similarly you will do it here stitch here then this side stitch here and here. It will be like a square inside which you are having this. One example I have done similarly, I'm sorry, but I have done similarly one example in here. That is here, this one. Student has completed the thing and then we have given here a stitch, stitch, stitch and stitch which is protecting the white fabric and it. Here you can have, what you can do is you can start stitching over here because I will be using the help for machine and then giving a direct stitching here and on these sides they are also intact and rigidly strong. You can use them as a wall decoration, okay, or you can use it as a cover for your cushions and stitch it over it also. This is the method of doing a fabric plain waving. Now I will just show you how to do a paper waving. 
So you can see here the paper has been already waved. Same, same method the background here it was used as white right. Here we have used the background as orange. So we cut our white paper and then put the different colored strips inside. You can see here the strips has been cut as um, cream color strips and green color strips. Push through them and then the final thing was cut behind the orange. See here. You have a paper. A4 size paper which has been cut into a square shape equal length. Fold it into half. After folding you have to cut them. When you cut them, they become something like this. But they are in contact rigidly in the top and in the bottom. So they have not completely cut it. It's just like in the middle. You can see. Not cut on top and bottom. Just in the middle. Okay. Through this you can push your different colored papers. As you can see here. Goes in one. Out. In. Out. In. Out. That's how you can do your waving with a paper and you can get the same method can be used for doing a twirl and a satin way both for fabric and for the paper. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video and you people will do the same and let me know how you people have done it. Now we will come to the related questions area. So dear students as you have seen in the practical we have done the plain waving technique using the help of fabric strips and paper. As I've told you before, I will be uploading the video where I will be showing you how to do plain waving using the help of yarns and a cardboard. Now let us come forward and see what are the related questions asked for this practical. The first question that has been asked you is what do you understand by the term warp and weft? Basically in a plain waving we are having the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. The vertical lines represent warp while the horizontal lines represent the weft. These two lines or these two strips used in a plain waving are interlaced at 90 degree angles. Are interlaced at 90 degree angles. So we say warp and weft. Warp for vertical, weft for horizontal. Our second question. Give an example of a common fabric woven used by method of plain waving. Very common fabric and used by our great Mahatma Gandhi ji that is Khadi. Khadi is the type of cloth used during the method of uh, plain waving. Now our question number three. What are the qualities that you look for in a good quality fabric? By knowing what the fabric is good or not, you should look at its texture. The texture, the finishing, how it is done for a fabric tells you whether it is a good quality fabric or not. These are the possible questions that you will be asked during your examination and as you told, as I told you, yarn, plain waving, fabric waving and paper waving. Out of these three, any one can come for your exam. Even play, uh, yarn waving can also come as it is mentioned in your book using the help of a string or a wool. So string and wool waving can also come. So please be yourself well prepared. Go through my videos. It will help you a lot for your examinations. Any questions you have, please let me know and feel, please feel free to ask the questions. Thanks for watching my video.